Hi guys, welcome back to you, me and the family. I hope you are all really well and enjoying the um, weekend. It was terrible winter yesterday, wasn't it? It broke my washing line. Um, granted, I managed to get six loads of washing done, which is absolutely fantastic. But yeah, I've got to buy a new washing line. It, it was even the spinny one as well, so it kind of just went and bent over. Um, but I hope you all had a great sun Saturday. Today is Sunday. I have got my cousin and her family coming round and my daughter's boyfriend's having dinner as well. So I've got, I think it's 13 mouths to feed today. So I've had the shop done delivered today because I needed some chickens and some extra cauliflowers for the veg. Um, this is part one of my weekly food shop. I will do a bit of a top up shop later on in the week of some fresh stuff that we'll need and stuff for meals that I haven't got now. Um, we have got um, multiple people coming for dinners this week. Um, like I said, I'm cooking for 13 today. I've got my two besties coming for breakfast tomorrow. We're doing like a fake away McDonald's, so I've had to get some sausage patties and stuff like that. Then I think I've got them here for Saturday as well, where I'm doing a big curry for everyone. So, um, but I will include the meal plan at the end, like I always do, and I will show you, I'll put the price on the screen for you as well on how much each of the items cost. Um, it doesn't look the healthiest because I have a shed ton, literally a ton of veg in the shed, of fruit and veg still. I've got fruit bowls overflowing next to the camera tons of bananas tons of satsumas and apples and that loads of fresh grapes and that's still in the fridge so i didn't need to buy any there and then i still have a load of the 15p veg that needs using up as well so i didn't need to buy fresh stuff really but um let's get on and show you what i did need to buy let's turn the camera around and show you shall we here we go guys let's do a quick overview for you there we go, got some frozen -y bits and some new tins, new baking tins, looking forward to using them. But um, like I said, I've got family members here, my cousin with her family, so that's a family of six, and then Chloe's got her boyfriend for dinner as well, so there's 13 I'm going to be cooking for. Um, I needed a cauliflower because I didn't have none, and I thought one large one would be, would be good enough, but these are kind of very pitiful and sad. So it's just as well I bought two. I'm going to have to cook both of them up for today's dinner. We are cooking a gammon joint that I've got in the air fryer ready to go. And then we have two large chickens as well that I'm going to cook up. Hopefully that will be enough meat. If not, then I'm going to do stuffing and Yorkshire puddings to bulk it out anyway. If I'm lucky enough to have leftover chicken, then I'll use it during the week for lunches. The bones will be put in the freezer for me to make my own chicken stock, which I'll be doing shortly in a video. But I've got two large chickens. They are on club card at the moment, down to £4. I needed some chicken breasts. I ordered two of these, which, again, were on club card. But they substituted one of these, I think it was 900 grams ones. Where's the estimated weight on the back, probably? Ah, yeah, 950 grams. I ordered two of them. Ah, but they substitute one of them for one of these, which I didn't even realise they had done because I didn't put it on the receipt. So, you know, it don't bother me, really. It saves me doing a job because we've got chicken fried rice. I'll just use that for the chicken fried rice and then that for the other dinner. Simple. We needed some streaky bacon. Oh, Blackberries open. We need some streaky bacon for tomorrow's breakfast because I am doing the McDonald's cheese and bacon flatbreads. So I needed two of them. Got two punnets of red grapes because they are still on club card down to 150. I have been eating a lot of grapes this week. They have been a godsend, nice and sweet. So they've kept my um, sweet sweet tooth at bay. Um, some burger cheese for the flatbreads, breakfast, and McMuffins. Three packets of these white folded flatbreads. These are what I'm gonna be turning into the bacon and cheese things, turnover flatbreads. 
they're only a pound each. I got Nathan two punnets of blackberries, but one has got started on already. I've managed to wrestle that away from him. Two punnets of strawberries that he has not seen. I'm going to put these straight in the fridge and get him to use the last of the old ones first. Two pots of gravy for tonight's dinner and to go into the pantry. Some mini cartons of juice. These have been going down really well with Chloe in the mornings. I got eight of the orange, eight of the apple. They were 2 25 for eight or five for 150. So I just got eight of each. I needed some more sugar. I just got the granulated because I just whizz it up in the Nutribullet if I want it finer for my baking. And then Steve can just use this for his teas and coffees as well. I got four of the white distilled vinegar for my washing. I put this in to make my towels all nice and soft. And Steve's work clothes because he's a mechanic and no matter how much fabric softener and nice fragranced washing stuff I use, it stinks. But if I put this distilled vinegar in, about 250 mils, it gets that smell gone, which is nice. Um, two packets of sausage rolls just for snacks at lunchtime. Some cheese savouries, again for the cupboard for snacks. The Serene Lift Bars, the blueberry, are on offer. So I got some more of them for Shane, he loves them. I got some soups for myself for when they have certain dinners that I don't want this week I will have some soup and then again at lunchtime I'll have soups as well. They are a godsend. I thought I'd try this fresh one which is garden vegetable. That was on offer to 175 but then the smaller ones were 125 on offer so I thought I'd get both types of brand have a closer look at the ingredients and the calories and all that lot. Granted, this one is a bigger tub and I can use this tub when I make my homemade sauces and soups. But they didn't have potato and leek in this one and it said low, low fat and this one was a source of protein. So I'm looking forward to trying them. Sorry about that, guys. I had to um, stop recording because Steve was misbehaving in the background. So here we go again. Part two. We have microwave rices at the back. Um, in this Meals of the Week that is going out for Sunday, I'd done duck fried rice during the week. And it was an experimentation. I won't hold in my breath that people would like it. But everyone actually loved it. They absolutely loved it. I thought Hayley was going to turn her nose up at it, and she did. So I gave her more chow mein. But once she tried it, she loved it. So um, Steve's actually requested it again this week. And I'm like, no, I'm not doing duck again for a while. I'll do a different take on it. And we actually have fried rice again this week. So I thought if it's going to be a regular um, meal on our, on our um, books, then I'm going to have to start stocking up on this rice again. This stuff is fantastic. It saves you having to boil up rice the day before and keep it in the fridge you just break it all up in the bag and then fry it in the frying pan and then stir fry and off you go but i am going to try i've got the basmati one and then i've got long grain i'm going to see which one fries up best i got six of the basmati six of the long grain and we'll see how we get on with them I got three boxes of the six pork and herb sausage patties for breakfast tomorrow. I hope that is going to be enough for all my for my besties come in for breakfast and my lot. Normally my lot will do them on their own, but I think I'm going to try and do some fat American style pancakes as well. So we have all three kind of dishes for breakfast. Nathan has a cheese and tomato pizza for one of the dinners this week. Spring onions, sorry. This is kids misbehaving while I'm trying to record. And believe it or not, it's one of the biggest ones. Um, spring onions to go with the salads. I've still got loads of salad in the fridge. That's why I just needed spring onions. I needed a new bottle of my toner. This is the one I use, absolutely love it. That was on Club Card as well, so I got that's why I got it from there. 
I've got one pineapple because everyone seems to have gone off pineapple. So I only got one. Frozen stuff. There's a bit here. Uh, Tesco's do have free f four for free at the moment on some of their frozen stuff. So that's why I got some bits and then I needed others for other dinners. These are for Nathan because we have been using up a lot of the potato products in our freezer because they've been open for a while and I just wanted to refresh them. He's got some potato stars. We needed some hash browns to go with one of the dinners this week. Nathan needed some chicken nuggets but I got chicken dippers because they were they looked nicer so I got them. Curly fries, I needed three bags of them for one of the dinners which you will see in a minute. And then these are kind of for me for when people have um, chips. I thought sweet potatoes are a bit healthier and these were our what's on the three for two. No, four for three. The oven baked sweet potato fries. I got two of them. Again, they had their McCain ones on in the offer and they were the same price. I did order one of each to see which one was, if there was any difference in the health benefits and all that lot, but they substituted that for the same one. And then this that I've not seen before, it's, it's mixed root vegetable fries, which again, probably I'm going to be the only one eating it. It's beetroot, carrot and parsnip coated in a light batter for crispy fries, rainbow brights for life. So I thought they would be nice with a little bit of salt and hopefully they will be yummy. Then they had, um, let's get that out for me there. They had um, three for two on a lot of their bakeware and I have got a new air fryer. My, my new ninja I've treated myself to over the blimmin' moon of it I've cooked so many meals of it already so much better in my opinion than the instant pot one that i did get but i wanted to get some trays that would actually fit so i could do some baking in there because i haven't done baking in the air fryer i normally put them in the oven but i'm going to attempt it um i've got this small roaster that will fit in there i've got a small 20 centimeter sandwich tin i think in nice brownies and then, yes, I did balls up. I ordered two of the £2 loaf tins. So I paid full price for one of these, and then the other one was in the deal. Not much, because they're only like 2 25 each. But these will fit in my big ninja now, and in the duo one that needs cleaning up. It's because I've just cleaned it, and it's smeary, so I've got to clean that again. But um, there's them. That is everything that I bought from Tesco's. I am sorry about my family in the background. It is Sunday and they've, they, they're very energetic this morning. But um, let's show you what I plan on feeding this lot this week, shall we? Here is the meal plan in purple. Lovely. Tomorrow, I plan on doing Hunter's Chicken Fries, okay? Normally do we do um, barbecue chicken um dirty fries or loaded fries but we're going to actually do hunter's chicken style which will have bacon in there as well and we're going to do them on the curly chips chloe's request nathan's just going to have the chicken nuggets with the curly fries without all the barbecue sauce and all that lot tuesday i'm gonna do right this is a big one for me i'm gonna make homemade pizza dough and then i'm gonna make the homemade sauce as well so it's going to be homemade pizzas from scratch made on Tuesday. And then I'm going to do that with salad. Nathan will have that as well because he does eat pizza. Wednesday, we're going to do chicken fried rice rather than the duck. And then Nathan is going to have saute skewers and then something. I don't know what. Not decided yet. Thursday. With some of the re the leftover sauce that I've made from the pizza, because it's going to be like a five veggie hidden sauce, like five vegetable red bolognese sauce that I'll do. I've got loads of veg that needs using up, and I'm going to hide it in there, use it on the pizza, and then I'm going to use it in the lasagna as well, and then I'm going to serve that with salad. Nathan will have his little pizza. 
Friday, we're going to have a fry up. I've got loads of bacon, loads of sausages in the freezer. Um, I will go to Aldi this week and get some of their beans because we have now run out. And then that is what the hash browns are for. Saturday, I've got my besties round. We're going to do, or I'm going to cook them a nice curry. We're going to do a chicken one and then a veg one. Nathan is going to have fish and chips. I've got to get him some fish fingers. And then on Sunday, I'm going to do my roast. Um, it's actually my dad's birthday on the Saturday. Um, but uh, I'm going to cook him a nice Sunday dinner on the Sunday. And he's requested leg of lamb. And then next week, we've got two birthdays. We've got Steve's on Tuesday. And he's requested a Chinese. And then we have Haley's on the Thursday. So next week, we'll probably two tiny two take uh, get my words out Hannah two takeaways but um that is the meal plan that is our shopping please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it please consider subscribing if you haven't done so already really does mean a lot to me really is helping my channel grow and um, I am thankful for everyone that has subscribed so far already thank you so much if you do decide to subscribe Hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos, which will be part two of the weekly food shop, which I am thinking is going to be from Aldi because there's a few bits that I want from there. So take care, guys, and I'll see you again soon. Bye.